We're doing errands today and then we're gonna need that red robin. And this is the post office. Laura's gonna send some packages. I'm returning my Halloween costume because it didn't come in time and it was $50, it was a waste of money, so I'm gonna return it and get my money back. And I'm gonna return Luna's because that also didn't come in time. I ended up having to buy a new one from Party City. And I'm gonna get her a bigger size for her Snow White costume. And we're gonna put her in it for her first trip to Disneyland, we decided. So we got her the Shop Disney Snow White costume. And it's really cute, but sadly it didn't arrive in time, so we return it. Get a bigger size. Nice work. Easy, they sent me all the stuff I need. So like party city when I have to go get a shipping label. I think I can just use my debit card and use that automatic machine thing. You have to get tracking on this one. I do? What That's that what mean? it says. Laura's returning her packages right now. And I'm in the car with the kids. They're sleeping. I'm very hungry. And it's warm in here. I don't like it. This is my view. City garbage. The fact of the matter is, I don't like my face or my voice. So I don't like doing updates. <laughs> to ship things. But I got some Santa stamps. Or he's gonna wanna play with these, but <laughs> gotta get a head start on those Christmas cards. The freaking Evil Queen costume was eleven dollars to ship. Are you gonna interact with me or am I just gonna talk to a camera? It's like you gotta spend money to make money. Send it back, you know? Check out these things that I made on here. It's their fault that they shipped it so late. You just forget. <laughs> you just forget how pricey it is to ship things because I'm always like, nope, not paying that. If, if I see a expensive shipping on something, I just look for something different. Or I just try to buy it in town. And any other time I buy stuff online, I always get free shipping. Hmm. But most stuff ships for like four dollars, so like when you buy stuff online, shipping is usually three ninety nine. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, the costume was eleven dollars to ship. Like, what the heck? It's a piece of fabric. I don't know. I don't know how they decide. In any minute now, we're gonna eat food. expect it to be. Okay, go ahead. Oh. You want some lunch? You want some juice? You want some cookies? Oh, he's really upset if he doesn't want cookies. Yay, fries. They gave me this. They gave you a cup of fries. Yep. I don't know, I'm supposed to do it. I want to eat one right now. I don't know where they came from. Everyone's awake now. Oh my god, Red Robin fries. They're so good. I was hoping they would stay asleep. But oh, they're both awake. Rory wants a fry. Look at that. Crispy, golden yumminess. What's up, Dam? I want to eat my burger. You're hungry? Yeah. Rory, do you want some fries? Dan forgot to get us drinks, so. No, I didn't forget. <laughs> I can't eat a whole burger and fries without having something to drink, at least a couple of water. I'm buying red ramen drinks. Oh, why? I don't like it. 
Because it's not beer. <laughs> so I just made the next best decision and went to Starbucks, but the line's really long. There's so many freaking cars. Boy, a ship. Stepped on, sat on, played on my laptop, and my laptop basically is broken now, so. He did all those things at once? What he, actually happened? He did it repeatedly, but mm -hmm. the main thing is the laptop was sitting on our bed, and uh, he walked on it. I think that's what did it, mm -hmm. do you think? Could be. Or crawling, it was like he was crawling slash walking. Like he just treated it like a toy, like something he could play with, and it's not. <laughs> So it's basically broken. It just scrolls. It just endlessly tries to scroll up, down, whatever. And that makes it really impossible to oh, It is impossible to use. Like, it, you can't do anything on it. It's very frustrating. So we're at Best Buy because Rory basically broke my laptop. And I use my laptop every single day for a lot of things. And I can't go without it for even a day. So we looked online and found a Lenovo. 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 Lenovo laptop that was pretty affordable. So we bought it and now we just need to pick it up. All Lenovo laptops are affordable. Oh, really? They're good laptops. I've never had a Lenovo laptop, so I'm a little nervous about it. I'm gonna be more careful with this laptop. I'm gonna try really, really hard not to let Rory walk on it. Uh, I know it's hard to control other people's actions, but it's like an expensive item. What? Why you shake your head at me? I have to have that perspective because I'm a caregiver. I can't control other people's actions. Even though Rory's my kid, I, he can still he still has free will. He still has the potential of walking on my new laptop. I'm gonna try not to let him. Plan on getting a tablet later that I can use for just watching videos and shopping. That way I don't put as much wear and tear on this new laptop. We're just at World Market picking out stocking stuffers for uh, the babies and also shopping for some of our family members. There's a lot of good stuff here. Rory's enjoying looking at the Christmas decorations.
So we made it home. We did our first round of Christmas shopping today and it was relatively quiet out in town, luckily. We planned it this way so we did our grocery shopping like you saw during the week and you know, the grocery store is going to be busier now because Thanksgiving's coming up. But uh, for Christmas shopping at the mall, it's quieter right now because the Black Friday sales aren't out yet. So we got some of the stocking stuffers and little items that aren't ever really going to go on sale out of the way while it's quiet. I'm trying to make our Christmas shopping go a lot smoother this time around. Last year, we did a lot of shopping at Disneyland because we went to Disneyland for Christmas. So this year, I'm trying to be on top of it because Christmas shopping with two kids is very difficult so I'm glad that we got some of it done today and then we're gonna do the rest of it Black Friday and Cyber Monday and then be done hopefully so I just wanted to show you guys really quick what I got today so I actually picked these up for myself they're light up LED moon and stars I just really like them a lot seven dollars for the set I'm not sure where I'm gonna put these in the house but I'll find somewhere and then Dan picked up for his two nephews these game tr controller chocolates these are for older kids and then this is for a four-year-old so the gingerbread chocolate they're for our niece the peppermint cookies for our other niece a smartphone chocolate so he had fun picking those out one of our moms probably this amber vanilla candle these are just filler gifts they're not main gifts but just to help fill in we got all of this stuff at world market and then we picked up for luna some more bib from h&m i like the h&m bibs they were on sale for seven dollars i like these because they have buttons instead of velcro the velcro has been scratching her so i picked up more of the button ones and i like these a lot i'm excited about those bibs right luna you like your new bibs The rest of the stuff I'm gonna show you. I also got this stuff at World Market. We shopped at other stores today, but we just didn't wanna buy anything yet. But I found these things I just wanted to pick up. I picked up this for my brother, Nick. He got one of these for Christmas when we were kids and I saw it and I'm like, I have to get it for him. I'm excited to give him this. And I actually have a little video of him getting this, so I might insert it. And actually, Rory wanted this after I put it in the cart. He was trying to take it, and he also kept asking me why he wasn't wearing any clothes. <laughs> and then this stuff I got for my other brother. He is a barista, so I kind of went with the barista theme. I got him this mochaccino chocolate. It looks yummy. It's got a really pretty picture on the front of it. And that was $4 for that. A little mug cake mix. I've never had this, but it looks looks yummy on, you know, a night that you're just craving a little chocolate. There you go. It was two bucks. And then I got him. I thought this was beautiful. It's a English breakfast tea tin from World Market Copper. This was $14.99. It's very sturdy and it has the uh, it has the rubber on this side so it comes off really easily. The lid comes off really easily and it keeps it nice and sealed at the same time. So I just thought this would be really great for him to keep some of his tea in. I hope he likes it. I got him this fun little set of spoons. It says, not your average Joe, perk up, rise and grind, and whole latte love. So I hope he likes these. And this was $16.99 for this set. So it's not something he would buy for himself and it kind of has the coffee theme so I decided to go with that for him and then I'm also gonna buy him some tea from one of my favorite tea shops later and then a t-shirt and then his gift will be done so we stopped at Walmart to get diapers just a box of fours and a box of twos for the two kids and then Dan picked up oil enhancer and then also two things of the gas line antifreeze and water remover for his truck so that's what we got at walmart so that's it for the quick haul today and the rest of the stuff that i got uh is more christmas oriented so i'm gonna save it for the christmas haul that or winter slash christmas haul that i do later on but that just gives you a quick rundown of what we ended up buying today and then i will do an unboxing of the laptop two hours later i got a 15 inch lenovo laptop I've been patiently waiting to open it. I cleaned the whole kitchen, got all the laundry folded, 
I got all the laundry started. What else did we do? Clean the living room. Clean the bedroom. Bath Rory. Bathed Rory, got Luna to sleep. Got my cup of tea ready to go for my relaxation. All that's left is opening this box. <laughs> smaller than the cord I've been using. Holy cow. Is this the same one you have? It's the same one I have. It's so small. It's so compact. It's called a Lenovo Notebook Idea Pad 330 15 ARR Touch. I hope that means it's a touch screen. Mine's not. Warranty and a bunch of mumbo jumbo and other languages that I don't know. Ridges on the cover. I don't like that. I like the smooth top. Okay. Yeah, mine does. It is the one panel. It doesn't have the clickers. USB 3.1 Gen 1. I don't know what that means. Ryzen. Is that what you have? Wow, this laptop looks fancy. I don't have Ryzen. I think this is going to work out. It's gonna be a good laptop. Thanks, Dan, for picking it out for me. <laughs> Love and O's are always trustworthy. Good. Now the fun begins. I get to try this thing out. Ooh, it has an SD slot. Okay, good. Get settled in with this thing. Break it in. Gotta get all my little programs on it. Oh, here's the power button. I was like, how do I turn it on? I think I need to charge it first. Hope it works out. First thoughts. My first thoughts. I'm kind of nervous because I've always used either HP or Dell. Well, I've always used HP. I had one Dell laptop and it was a failure. It just, I didn't like it, it fell apart. So I'm used to HP products. Uh, I saw that it had Windows 10 on it, so I'm sure that it'll be easy to transition, but I'm not used to this brand. It's beautiful. Uh, I like the smoothness of it. And I'm interested to see how this one pad, instead of having the clicker thing, mouse clicker um, works out and I really don't want Rory to walk on it. <sighs> what do you think? I think it's good. 